Hey, Coach. Um, with the number of threes you guys have given up to your first three opponents, uh, what, what are some defensive adjustments or changes or improvements you, that you'd like to see? Just us switching correctly and getting getting next to a guy before he shoots the basketball, that would help. Um, I really don't want to talk about it. I like to talk about my grandbaby. I should send a shout out to Mariah Adams and her husband for having our first grandbaby tonight. Way to go, Mariah, if you're listening. All right, go ahead. Well, congratulations, I guess, first of all. Thank you. Um, and uh, I guess back to the game. We, yeah. we spent so much time the last two years asking you about Trace. Kalel obviously plays that position differently in some ways. There's some things you ask him to do similar, but just, you know, kind of with a guy that can move around the floor and stay in the offense the way that he can with his jump shot, with his three-point shot, just how much can he give you when maybe you're trying to fit some other pieces together, just an anchor point for you, I guess? He's doing everything we've asked him to do since he's been here. And – He's rebounded the ball. He's blocked shots. He's he's made shots on the perimeter. He's made shots down low. I just want to keep him in that space. Mike, on your left, Todd. An extension of that. Did you expect him to have so much confidence? I mean, he seems to be kind of growing. But I mean, did you see that in the preseason, or were you kind of interested to see what would happen in these first few games? He seems to be playing with a lot of confidence, especially with his uh, back to the basket. Did you expect that right out of the gate from him? Guys, he's a young player. All these guys are young players. And sometimes on certain nights you get good things from some of these young players, and sometimes you don't. That's just how it, how it works. And he's been playing extremely well. You know, he started out a little slow when we first got together, and, and he's picked it up, and he's doing all the things that we've asked him to do, and we just got to take it a game at a time. And, Keep him in a good place where he's doing the things that he's been doing for us. Congrats, Mike, on your uh, family uh, good news. Thank you. As far as the team is concerned, where, where, of the t things that have cropped up in the three games, whether it's free throw shooting, three-point defense, shot selection at times, where is your, where is the most level of concern that you have or is it just collectively about everything? Well, it would be a major concern had we lost those three games. We won them. Be curious to see what you guys would really be saying had we lost the games. You know, we haven't put a perfect game together. The game before this game, we made our free throws. We didn't make them tonight. You know, the three ball's been a major concern. We haven't shot the three ball very well. So I figure if you put all those together, boy, life might be pretty good. I wouldn't probably be having this conversation with you. But that ain't the case. So we just got to keep working, take it in a practice at, at a time, and a game at a time, and see where it leads us. Jack, on your left, and Mike. Hey, Mike. Um, the offense seemed to, to click a lot more today early, 54 first half points. 89 total, I guess. What was kind of your message or some of the adjustments you made in practice this week to try to get the offense clicking a little more? I thought we got out to a great start the first time this unit, you know, in a real game, established themselves on both ends of the floor from a defensive standpoint and putting the ball in the hole. And then uh, we gave up three straight threes. They were sitting at 30 with about, I think, four on the clock, four or five on the clock. And you can't go in giving up 19 points, basically, is what we gave up going in at halftime. And that's something we hadn't done since, you know, this unit has been together, a 19-point stretch in five, four or five minutes. That's just too many points. And they made a game out of it going in at halftime. So those are things that we got to clean up. But I was pleased with the guys in terms of how they started the game on both ends of the floor because we hadn't seen that in the first two games. Coach, on the offensive end in the first half, there seemed like a real emphasis to push the pace and uh, attack in the first 10 seconds of possessions. And it seemed like you had a lot of success with that. Did, did you, 
did you emphasize that going into the game? Did you like what you saw? And, and did you feel like the guys got away from that a little well, bit? Well, I, I thought we got away from it, but we had been working on that in practice and trying to push the pace, get more ball movement, body movement. And I thought we established that early. And it didn't hurt us that we were getting stops and getting out. So, you know, all those days, things play a, a major role in terms of how you play offense. And, you know, it's kind of nice to see because that that first unit had been struggling in the first two games coming out, out of the box. So uh, we just got to figure out how to put a, a complete 40-minute game together the way I like to see it. Coach, getting to talk to Malik earlier this week, he kind of talked about how he and Khalil have been kind of coming together, both in terms of their progression on the court and off the court chemistry-wise. What are you getting from them that you like so far, and, and what's next for that duo? No, they're playing well together. I mean, you know, when you talk about going against teams that got big bodies, you know, they got to play that way. We call it buddy ball. They're really connecting in terms of – you know, making plays for one another, you know, high-low plays, you know. I mean, they both are extremely good passers with the basketball. They're given passers. If you're open, they'll give you the ball. You just got to do something with it when you get it. Trevor, second row left. Uh, the first three opponents have hit the offensive glass really hard. Uh, 14 offensive boards for right straight, right State tonight. Is that a – concern going forward or is it just smaller teams just taking threes and no I crashing? think it is a concern uh, you know and a lot of it is is because the three teams are really taking a, a lot of three point shots against us and long shots long rebounds and you know our guards you know I can't have my starting guards play 26 28 minutes and get one rebound a piece you know that, that just can't happen Hell, I can get a rebound at 65 years of age probably, stumble into one. I mean, it, they got to help rebound the ball. I think Ware and, and Malik are doing a great job in, you know, as, as far as rebounding it. But the surrounding pieces, man, we got to pick up the scraps, man, that are out there. And, you know, our opponents are beating, beating us to those balls. And we got to figure that out. Second front, last one. I guess just quickly on X, I recognize it's it, – sort of just happened right there at the end just Don't what know. happened and where's he at I, I have no idea where he is right now you know i'll know more tomorrow when uh when i come in all right thanks, coach. All right.